hai hai Hello, how are you today? Hi, hi. Teacher. Hi. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. You? I'm fine too. Ready. Ready for beginning a new month, right? Okay, Rona. Vamos a ver. We're ready. I'm going to call you. Hmm. We're six right now. I'm going to call you so you tell me present, right? I'm sorry. Hmm. Hmm. Carlos Roberto, darling, Denis Sadunay, Edgar Eduardo, present teacher, good evening, good evening, Gabriela Stephanie, Germán Agustín, Jessica Raquel. Hi, teacher. Hi, guys. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? i tired, teacher, but it's so soon. Yeah, but tomorrow is Saturday. You don't work on Saturday, right? Do you? Yeah, I don't I don't go to the office, only home office for okay. two hours. Ah, ah. <laughs> two hours uh, pass. Yes. Okay. Right? Two hours. Pass really, really quick. Okay. <laughs> sí. Kelly Marcela. Kelly Marcela. Marcelo Lainit. Miguel Efraín. Hey, teacher. Hi, Moisés Elías. Present teacher. Norma and Maritza. Present Mauricio. Present Mauricio, Mauricio, Mauricio. Okay, Mauricio. Okay, Norma Maritza. Here, Norma Maritza. Pedro Artón. Ronald, Sabrina Lisette, Tamara Lisette, Waldemar, Walter. Okay. Bueno. Nice to see you, everybody. Beginning a new month, right? Beginning the last month of the year. El más, yes. el más fiestero de todos. Well, el right. más bonito, el más corto. Y... 
Yeah. Bien rápido se pasa. Ah, ya. Yeah. That's, it, it passes really fast. Maybe because we are resting a little bit, right? Okay. Well, let me see. Today we have a review. That's vocabulary practice. And, and. Good evening. Hi, good evening. How are you? Teacher, ya pasó lista. Estaba intentando. Yes, Sabrina. I said, where is Sabrina? Yes. Okay, nice. But I, but good that you're here, Sabrina. Right on time. Right on time. Okay. Yeah, some of you, when I call you, you were not here, but I'm happy to see that you're here now. Right? Great. Hey, Bella, hello. Nice to see you. Hello. Buen, buen provecho para Moisés. <laughs> okay, it's it's dinner time. I know. I know. <laughs> no, don't worry, no don't worry. <laughs> don't worry, go ahead. Buen provecho. No va a aguantar hasta las 10 de la noche para comer. ¿Verdad? That's well, too Yeah, late. finish. <laughs> <laughs> That's too late to eat up till 10. Imagine. No, no, no. That's not possible. Okay, well, I'm going to share the screen. And today, today, it's our class number 10. We're finishing unit two. Uh, you know, by the end of the week, I have a lot of pains on under my desk because every, every day I drop one. Okay, uh, as I was telling you, today we have our class number 10, right? We have class number 10. That means that we are finishing unit two and that we have to be finishing unit two also in the platform. And a part of finishing unit two in the platform, it is necessary that we have a, a the midterm exam, but not the exam in the medio curso. Ese va hoy. And next week we begin with unit number three. Okay, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Today we're talking about vocabulary and practice. That's a, the structure, the structure that we okay, that we have been studying this week. That's those are the ones that we are going to review today. And we also we also have some vocabulary from the end of the at the end of the unit, right? You will see some vocabulary that we are covering. And the objective participants will be able to role play a conversation in which one employee is asking for a race using the vocabulary and the grammar learned during the unit. Correct. Asking for a race, quiere un aumento, ¿verdad? Quiere un aumento de salario. Yeah, that's what you're going to be doing. Okay. Oh, okay. Es la hora de la cena navideña, dice quién. ¿Quién es Gus? Pedro. No. No es Ronald, ¿verdad? ¿Quién es, el, quién es Guzmán? Guzmán. No, no es Ronald Guzmán. Bueno, somebody is in the Christmas dinner. Ya, ya qué rápido. For us, Christmas dinner is almost in the middle of the month. Well, so check. This is, this is the vocabulary we're going to be reviewing. 
You have credit cards, a confirmation, confirm your information, select the items, go to the right, check, confirm the method, login. This is uh, something that we were learning ooh, at the beginning of the unit, right? So what you're going to do now is match the first part of the sentence or with or, uh -huh, the first part of we have steps that we follow when making an online purchase, right? But we have the first part of the word of the phrase in one side, on the other side, we have the other half. What you have to do is match. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes for you to read, for you to think a little bit, and then we check. Mm And teacher, for me, is the go to the only web page, the first. Go to the online web page. Let's get up. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I cannot write that. <laughs> I need that key. Let me get up in. Okay, so we yeah. have go to the online web page. That's what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have the first one. Get the price, teacher. Get the price. Or check. Check the price. Yes, check the price. Okay. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Confirm the method of payment. Confirm the method of payment. Yeah. Okay. Log to your account. Login. To your account. Okay. I have a problem. My 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 function. My path is throwing me all the all the the hell to my hand. <laughs> Vaya, <laughs> sorry. What is the other one you said? We have check the price, go to the online web page, confirm the method of payment. What else? Select the items to purchase. Select the item to purchase. Yes. Good. Okay. Uh -huh. Login billing address? Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Okay. Credit card information. Uh -huh. Credit card information. Confirm your information and submit. Okay, information. 
complete your confirm your information and submit. Very good. Uh -huh. um, long in billing address. Mm. No. Write the billing address. Ah, right. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Write the billing address. And login. To your account. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Login to your account. Okay. Those are the steps to follow when making an online purchase. Right? Check. Play cards information. Confirm your information and submit. Select the items to purchase. Go to the online web page. Write the billing address. Check the price. Okay. Uh, confirm the method of payment. Log in to your account. Mm -hmm. yeah, of course, here they are not in order. What is the order? What is the order? Uh -huh, Jessica, which is number one? The number one is go to the online web page. Mm -hmm. Number two, yeah, select the items to purchase. Mm, before you select the item, mm. oh. check the price before. And number two, check the price. And before that, For me, yes, teacher. When do you log into your account? When you you look at the web page and see the the articles and products. So and first you look for the article and then you log into your account. Ah, okay, yes, mm -hmm. yes. So, what Maybe. goes first? Mm -hmm. Go to the online web page or log into your account? Uh -huh. In the local page, you can see the, the others uh, price when you uh, go to the online web page. Uh -huh. But if you is a usually of uh, any store online in this case, uh, in this case, maybe log into your account. Mm -hmm. Like here. Now, which would be number three? Check the price. No. Before checking the price? So let the items uh, purchase. Okay. Uh -huh. And then you check the price, right? Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. After checking the price? Wow. Write the billing address. Mm -hmm. And then confirm the method. the method of payment. Yes. First you confirm and then you give the credit card's information. Yeah, Yes. Okay. It's before. Mm -hmm. And the last one. Credit card's confirm. information. Confirm and your information. information and certainly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. And depend and remember that sometimes this order may vary. ¿verdad? No es que toda la vida le va a quedar el mismo orden. It will vary depending on the on the store, depending on the web page. 
because there are some of them that first they want you they want that you log in before they give you the rest of the information. If not, they don't let you see anything. And others, they let you see the information and then they ask you to confirm and edit. But in many cases, first you have to log in. If you don't log in, they don't let you see anything, right? So of course it will vary. The order will vary. Okay. As we're making a review, now we go to this part. So, we have valid reasons why customers can ask for a refund, right? What are valid reasons why customers can ask for a refund? And reasons when they cannot ask for a refund. So, you're going to complete this table. As different partners here, you will write the name of the partner. And here you will write the reason that your partner gives you for asking for a refund. And in this column, you will write uh, the reason your partner gives you when the person or the customer cannot ask for a refund. ¿Qué vaca? What name? What name goes here? Mm -hmm. This is the name of your partner, right? So you will ask four different partners to complete the chart, okay? Any question? Four different partners. For example, if you ask Carla, here you write Carla. And then you say, okay, Carla, tell me, what is an acceptable reason for asking or oh, oh, what is an, a valid reason for a customer to ask for a refund? Carla tells you the reason, you write it here. Then you say, uh -huh, now tell me, what reason is not acceptable? And then she gives you the reason and you write it here. Then you go and ask Jessica, for example. When Jessica tells you her reasons, you write her name and you write the reasons that she gives. Okay? Ready, okay. ready? Yes. Okay. But of course, I'm going to send you to the rooms. You are 1413. 13. I'm going to make for groups. Let's join. I have Tamara, Jessica, Marcelo, and Miguel. On the other one, Dennis, Carla, Maria, and Ronald. Ah, Ronald is working. Voy a mover. Bueno. Lo voy a mandar así. Si ven que alguno de sus compañeros no habla, me llama hoy. Porque así lo, lo ubico a que queden en un grupo donde, donde todos estén. Porque, este, ¿cómo se llama? Ronald creo que estaba caminando, trabajando. Y Tamara creo que es la que está saliendo del hoy. Tamara, ¿es verdad? Sí. Entonces, no le van a escuchar en todo el tiempo. Me dicen, oh, porque así los, los muevo a otro grupo. Vaya, let's go. Join, join. Right to join. Nice, Leisure. Tamara, eh, Tamara no nos va a escuchar, dijo Teacher, ¿verdad? 
Don't listen, teacher. Yo creo, yo creo que Tamara es la que viene saliendo del POI. No. No, es Tamara. Hoy es, aquí puse en el chat, es al señor, ¿cómo se llama? Solo Mitan, dice aquí en el... Ajá, es que solo dice Mitan, no sé quién es Mitan. No, pero en la foto es el señor que sale en la... En, ¿Cómo se llama? De comandos de salvamento o algo así. Ah, sí. Ay, no me acuerdo sí. cómo se llama. Ya, es este... <ríe> sí, 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 sí. Ah, ya me va a decir, Tiche, qué mala cabeza. Sí, qué mala memoria tengo yo. Good evening, good evening, teacher. <risa> aún, estoy, <risa> aún estoy en el trabajo, pero, pero Ay, no. voy a tratar de, de estar conectada. Yo decía que usted andaba por el POI. <risa> no, no, no. Sí, no, ya no, sé teacher. quién es. Pero... ¿Cómo se llama? No me recuerdo. Tampoco. Mm, ya ya sí. no vamos a acordar, teacher. Entonces vamos a trabajar con Juan. ¿Y quién Quiero es ver. en la cena navideña? Pues. Pedro. Ah, Pedro. Okay. Sí, Pedro está enfiestado. Qué gana, bien rápido. Sí, <risa> <risa> está bien. Teacher, en el caso de, vamos a imaginarnos que Miguel, por ejemplo, hace un reclamo Ajá. y voy a escribir la razón. Las razones que Miguel le da para hacer de una devolución y las razones que él le diría que, que no son aceptables, o sea, él le va a dar también una razón aceptable para hacer devolución y una razón que no es válida ni aceptable para hacer una devolución. Entonces, ah, okay. las dos... como, como por ejemplo que hoy ya no le gusta el producto, eso no es aceptable. Ajá, exacto, ¿verdad? mire, yo ocupé el vestido en la fiesta <risas> navideña a la que me invité y hoy ya no lo quiero ocupar. ¿Verdad? Ya no, no me gusta. Lo vengo a devolver. Lo devuelvo hasta el otro año, voy a ir a otra fiesta en la vida. <risa> <risa> ya no lo quiero. Okay. Entonces, ajá, esa sería una razón no vale. Ok, perfecto. Entonces, gracias. Sí. Mr. Miguel, como usted es el único chico del grupo, usted empieza. <risa> <risa> ok, este. Um, aceptable reason. Ok. Voy a escribirla. Les voy a traer a alguien. Ok, teacher. Um, yo estoy viendo aquí en el, en el libro, el proyecto. Um, que, que, que say, But, vamos a uh, imagine that uh, by a, bis, a bis, bicycle. Ay, Sabrina, la vi solita, qué barbaridad. Hi, teacher. I was Hi. sad and alone. Yeah. Hi, Jessica. Hi, Hi. Miguel. Nice Hello. to meet you. Hi. How no, are you? Aquí esperándola usted estamos para empezar. Okay. <laughs> Yo no puedo escuchar. I didn't hear the, the, the instruction very well because my internet doesn't work now. Oh. But... Vaya. You are working. I'm going to show you the chart. You, you have it in the book. Right, you have it in the book. Okay. So what you're going to do here is it take turns with the people in the group, take turns to mm -hmm. give reasons why a customer can ask for a refund. Then you write the name of the person who give who gave that reason and you write the reason. And then your partner okay. will give you also a reason why they cannot ask for a refund. So something that is unacceptable. And you write that reason here. Okay? Okay. okay. Then you will go asking for turns so everybody gives a reason. Okay? And then you complete the chart. Okay, At the end, you, between the three of you, you can invent the last one. Right? Okay. That can be mi yesa o sa mi ye. No sé, se inventan el nombre de los tres. <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 that will be the last one. Okay? okay. But go ahead, go take. Okay. Otra, eh, otra, otra que es aceptable que uno puede recibir. English. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, other other case is, is when 
is going a receive a product vencido, digamos. Ben, uh, expired, expired. When you receive an advertisement, it's acceptable. Yes, that's acceptable. Enormous. 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 When you receive a spire pro. Okay, ready. Okay, Carla. Um, in my case, acceptable reason is for when the customer no como que se arrepiente. Uh -huh. No sé cómo se dice. The customer is says he doesn't want the product anymore. Ah, esa sería la inaceptable. Uh -huh. Pero igual se le se le da el, el reembolso. Sí. Ah, de verdad. Se va. Sí, porque si ya no quiere, se le tiene que dar. Other 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 case is when you, you when you when uh, the price the price is not correct. Y, digamos, es que no sé cómo decir. Ya ha pasado, perdón, le voy a decir en español en, en la empresa de nosotros a veces este en los el, la la persona que factura le pone un precio que no es, entonces le pone más barato, ¿verdad? Mal, se lo da más, más barato, pero cuando vienen a ver el documento, ese no era el precio correcto, no que eh, le, le ponen el que es y ya no lo quiere, ya no lo quiere pagar, entonces allí mejor devuelve el producto y que le devuelvan el dinero. Así mm. nos ha pasado a nosotros. Algo así es un ejemplo. La, la anterior... Ah, ok, pero la anterior que la de cuando si el cliente se arrepiente, ¿era una razón aceptable o inaceptable? Inaceptable. Ah, ok. ¿Y aceptable cuál sería? Vaya. Eh, my case is the for the customer como que pide algo, ¿verdad? Y, uh -huh. y uno le dice sí, ¿verdad? Se le puede dar servicio, porque en este, en mi caso son servicios, ¿verdad? Pero falló el equipo en el momento o algo, entonces. Ok. Sería como. Por fallas. O sea, no cumplimiento de. No. Yo ver, no. Sí, no cumplimiento. De servicio, no cumplimiento de servicio. Ajá. Ok, según eso dice, no, uy, ¿a qué palabra más dice? No fulfillment of service. No habrá otra más fácil. No. Bueno, pues se va a poner. No. Eh, bueno, equipe, equipen. Ajá. Equipment. Uh, Files. No, ah, el equipo falló. Ajá. Uh, falló, falló. Fail. Fail, sí, ese día va. Fail, ya. Yeah. Ajá. Fail. Equipment. Fail. Ok. Ok, en mi caso, um, um, razones aceptables. En mi caso, yo trabajo con la agricultura en un proyecto de cacao. Entonces, es un trabajo para una ONG y, por ejemplo, mi tema era la calidad del cacao para la exportación a Europa. Entonces, una de las razones aceptables para devolver sería de, de la the quality de cocoa bean is bad. O sea, la calidad del grano de cacao es mala. 
Esa sería la principal razón. La otra sería uh, enviar la cantidad incorrecta. Sería si se pagó una factura por una cantidad y se envía a otra, a otra cantidad, esa sería otra de las razones por las cuales eh, razones aceptables para, para el reembolso. Entonces, okay. Es así, no sé cómo se, creo que cómo se escribiría. Um, Wayne, Wayne, no, para darle otra forma, como es que cuando no se cumple con lo estipulado en, en el contrato de compra, pongámosle. Ok. Sería como incomplete order. Ajá. Bueno, uh -huh. ajá, ajá. Eso es sencillo, incomplete order. Um, y ah. luego digamos, razones inaceptables que no cumplir el contrato es, es que ella no le gustó el, el cacao y se, se, o sea, no puede, en este caso no puede arrepentirse. No, no o sea, solo porque no le gustó no, no, no es una razón válida. Es una razón. Uh, otra razón sería um, que no es aceptable es, uh, porque, eh, ¿qué podría ser? Quería más o quería menos, eh, sino que es por el, sino, no sé cómo explicar, como, la anterior era de incomplete order, ¿verdad? porque incumplió orden, era una razón, pero en este caso es... No, no es que la incumplió, que está incompleta. Pero esa era una razón aceptable, ahora estoy con una razón inaceptable, es porque... Él pidió, por ejemplo, dos toneladas y, y cuando ya está ya dijo, no la voy a aceptar porque yo quiero dos y media. O sea, entonces, eh, no porque ya está escrito que él pidió dos toneladas. Eso como una razón inaceptable para no, para no devolverle el dinero. O sea, sí. Entonces sería... Um, para ponerlo en palabras. Uh -huh. eh, No sé, no, se me durmió el cáncer. Uh, teacher, ¿es uh, aceptable? ¿Es el orden para el customer? Sí, 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 es un de, de compra, sí. Ajá, fuera de, fuera de, fuera del, del contrato, ¿va? fuera de, uh -huh. so. eso sería. <laughs> I have other. I had other, other example, other case. Uh -huh. uh, when the product does not comply, comply the uh, with the safety measure, um, all the product uh, mm. in, in las empresas, ¿cómo dice teacher? The companies. Uh, the company uh, require. Uh, 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 si el, eh, no, la, el, el, la cuestión de seguridad industrial, de, de label, de security industrial, eh, many rechazan los productos o no quieren cosas que realmente no cumplan. En la, bueno, nos pasa a nosotros si lo hacemos mal. Ya dejan de comprar. Por ese detallito tan sencillo. Mm -hmm. Suele pasar eso, eso, esos reclamos. No sé cómo, cómo, pero esa fue la, 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 la idea que les quería transmitir, compañeros. When, when, when the, what when is the, the product, when the the product, product does not comply the safari measure. ¿Y cuál es el producto? ¿Cuál es el producto? You company. Uh, in, in químicos, chemical, in the chemical. Well, podría ser de, no, de buenas prácticas de, de manufactura, ¿no? Uh -huh. No, no, comp no cumple. No, no, ajá, que no cumple.
En el frío también podría ser el producto vencido, va. Expert, yeah, exp first, uh -huh, when, the, when, when we receive an expired product. Ajá, expired product. ¿Cuántas tenemos ya? Yo, yo les he logrado captar tres, pero hemos hecho más, ¿verdad? Yes. Mm, I have six. six Two yeah. mm -hmm. Okay. Ya nos defendemos. Ready, ready. Um, Eduardo, ¿y usted en la discoteca está? No, ya, el del, ¿cómo se, uh, se ha adornado? <ríe> ah, es que el fondo suyo pareciera que, que están, como solo brillan las lucitas. Ah, la, ah. Las, las estrellitas. Christmas <ríe> decoration. Ah, Christmas. <ríe> My wife is today. <ríe> nice. <ríe> Ha dejado bien bonito ahorita. Y ustedes todavía no, 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 no han adornado ya. Ya vamos empezando también. Cabal, ¿verdad? Hay gente que lo hace ya para iniciar la semana de. Sí, de como el 15. De la celebración, cabal. No, aquí es tradición, el primero tiene que empezar. Ya está. Desde que... ayer. <risa> Es para ambientarnos. Sí, porque desde aquí se mira bien ambientado, Dios. Qué va. Sí, porque ahí vemos Santa. Ahí ah, sí, sí. es. un el osito. Allá está otro. Y aquí está. Un, ah, pues sí. Un elfo. Tiene el espíritu navideño bien. Qué va. Al cien. <risa> Ay, el árbol que está bien grande ahorita. Nosotros somos el Grinch. Ah, no, no. <risa> Na, nada de Grinch este mes. No, no. No, no de no. movie. <risa> <risa> the movie of the Grinch. No, no, in my company we are the products, the, the chocolate. The, the, and, and December is the very much um, yeah. Eat, eat, uh, ¿Cómo sería? Consumo de chocolate. Consume. Consume. You consume a lot of chocolate in your company. Consumer. Or you yeah, sell um, chocolate. Um, no, es un, es, um, solo es, um, acompañamos a los, a, los, a los que elaboran o producen chocolate. Mm. Es que the chocolate is the más popular gift. Eh, si sí, algún día vamos a dar una charla de lo que comemos no es chocolate, es azúcar, entonces, pero es cultural de los salvadoreños, eh, lo dulce. Uh -huh. Entonces, eh, en, en la pupusería no, no consumimos chocolate, sino que consumimos azúcar. El verdadero chocolate es como un poco amargo, es igual que el uh -huh. café, el buen café es, tiene notas a veces amargas y. Pero eso es un otro tema. Si no, me voy a emocionar. <risa> no, está bueno que nos guíen, mire. Así ya no vamos a comprar chocolate ahí en la pupusería. Uh, no, hay que apoyar a las, hay que apoyar a las, a las señoras. <risa> es que a, la, a, esa, a la tablilla le echan como cinco libras de azúcar a una libra de cacao. Seis a uno le ponen. Porque, y en algunos casos se le olvida echarle cacao. Ah, no importa. Así, así, así no va. <risa> Contar que se vea café. Ajá, 
pero no es la cultura y es lo que más se vende. Eh, no. Uh -huh. That's true. That's true. Ready? Ready, teacher. Ready, teacher. You cannot give the chocolate back. <laughs> Keep it. Sí, no, no crean los Hershey's y los otros no chocolate en azúcar. Yeah. You sell Hershey's. La, la marca Hers y todas esas que están en el super mm. no son considerados chocolates, sino Why not? son considerados eh, los, los dulces, como le llaman, confitería. Entonces, para que, porque para que sea un alimento, porque el chocolate es un alimento, sea considerado como tal, debe tener una proporción arriba del 65% del ingrediente que es el cacao. Es que... y, uh -huh, y eso es. Por lo general no lleva ni cacao, sino que es manteca o cocoa, que es la separación de ese producto. Entonces, y pero son buenos. Ya no voy a comprar chocolate, entonces. No, pero son buenos. Yeah. Pero sorry, teacher. No, en otro. otro. No, probably, no, probably. no more chocolate. No, hay que comprar el verdadero chocolate. En... ¿Y ese dónde lo venden? Cuidado, una... esa es mi pregunta también. Hay Ajá. una tienda que se llama Chocolatísimo, otra tienda que se llama Belú Cacao. Te eh, imagino que es como amargo, ¿verdad? Depende, porque hay proporciones de azúcar del 75 que no se siente tan amargo, sino que ese 25 de azúcar le da le una... quita la amargura. Uh -huh, un poco, entonces. Mm. Pero usted entre más alto consuma de chocolate es más beneficioso para su cuerpo. Ajá, porque así uh, dicen que el chocolate es bueno. El pelo pero no chocolate el... <ríe> no, <ríe> <ríe> Los comerciales, ¿verdad? Lo siento, por los comerciales. <laughs> wow, but imagine, it's good to know, right? Because Excellent. we consume, we consume chocolate and we don't know. <laughs> no, no. Hay, que, hay de vez en cuando una feria que aparecen por ahí en Metro Centro, en alguna, acérquense a los vendedores y pregunten. Por un chocolate que tenga del 60 hacia arriba de cacao. Mm. Eso es, es amargo, pero es rico. Eso es como el amor. Es amargo, pero es bueno. Oh, ok, ok. <risa> <risa> yeah, I like chocolate, but I don't like it too, too sweet. Okay. And sometimes when people, I remember once I took chocolate, well, I took cacao beans to, to brown in the, in the meal. And the man told me, no, you need more sugar. You need five pounds of sugar for each pound of cacao. And I was like, what? <laughs> I, had, I had put, uh, it was, I was blending. Well, I had taken to the meal about three pounds of cacao. And to that, I had put only five pounds of sugar. And he told me, no, you need five pounds for each Pound of cacao. And I was like, what? <laughs> That's why it is so sweet. It is unbelievable how sweet it is. But no, no. Too sweet is mm -mm. it's not a good idea, right? Bueno, let's go. Okay, ready. So, <laughs> we talked about chocolate. Yes, he knows my camera, right? I am 20 seconds for everybody to be back. Mm -hmm. But down. Uh, oh, see, everybody back. Oh. 
Okay, tell me. Tell me, tell me. What acceptable reasons do you have? Mm -hmm. This viral product. Okay. Another one. Acceptable reason. Acceptable, yeah. What's an acceptable reason? I buy uh, online a shoes. Okay. And the size is not correct. Okay, yeah. When you buy something online, you don't know what you're going to get. Like if it will fit or not. Uh -huh. Pro defect. Okay. A product with defects. What else? I buy a book. A uh, acceptable reason is missing some page. Mm. Yeah. And unacceptable. I don't like the end of the book. Okay. Exactly. So imagine if you say I don't like the end. That means that you read all the book already, and now you want to change it. Not possible. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. What else? What else? What else? Miguel, give me a reason. An unacceptable reason. Ah, my. An acceptable reason is uh, I don't like it, uh, the color. You don't like the color. I bought it, but now I don't like the color. Yes. Okay. We're good. Can you change? But if somebody gave it to you, that would be acceptable, right? If another person gave that to you. Because you will say, well, I got it. Somebody gave it to me that now I don't like it. Uh -huh. Let me see, Carla Maria, give me a reason. Yes, it's your push. Give me a reason, an acceptable reason. For acceptable reason. Um, the laboratory laboratory equipment fail. Mm -hmm. The equipment fail. Okay. That is acceptable. Verdad? And an unacceptable. And on a acceptable reason, I have damage from improper use. Okay. Mm -hmm. You misuse the product, now you want to repair. That's not possible. Okay, great. Now, and remember, we're going to make a review of uh, one of the topics. We were talking about this uh, unit. And it's uh, this for singular and this for plural numbers, right? This and this as demonstrative pronouns. We said that we use them to talk about things or to talk about people that are near us. So no problem. If you want to talk about a person, uh, about somebody who is near us, or about somebody that is in a picture that you're showing, right? Imagine you have a picture and you say, you know, this is my daughter. This is my little doll, or this is my little cat. This, because you're showing at the picture, or you're showing at the person or the animal in, in a picture, something that is new, right? 
whose shoes are this? This is near me, so I can use this. You also use this or this to introduce people. You say, this is Janet. Yeah, you don't say she is, the, she is Janet. No, you say, this is Janet. This is Peter. This is Maria, right? So if you are introducing a person, you can use this. Or you can use this. These are my friends, John and Nectar. These are my friends, John and Michael. These are my brothers. These are my pets, right? So you can introduce someone to somebody else. Also, when you are beginning a conversation on the phone, you say, hello, this is David. Can I speak to Sally? Hello, this is Soila. Can I speak to Sabrina? Right? So I'm intro I'm beginning a conversation on the phone. Then I want to introduce myself. Also, when you answer the phone, good afternoon, this is Soila. That means Soila is answering the phone, right? And you use that a uh, that structure to describe it or to introduce the person who is answering. Now, that and those, remember that is used for singular, right? And those is used for plural, but when we're talking about things that are not near us or things that are far, we use uh, that or those. What's that? Oh, that is, that, that is, well, you say those are very expensive shoes. What's that? That's my house. Well, that's a tree, something that is fun. You can ask the question and you can answer. That's a tree. Hey, what's that? That's a dog. It's sitting, right? Those are very expensive shoes. This is our house. And that is Rebecca's house over there. Remember that if we see the word over there, it's Puraja. That means it is not close to me. It is fun. Yeah? Any questions so far? Mm -hmm. No? But Let's do the exercise then. Choose the correct pronoun to complete the sentence. Number one, this. Mm -hmm. This is Sandra speaking. Hello, this is Sandra speaking. How may I help you? Number two. <laughs> This, this, this. Uh -huh. this. These are my parents, Catherine and Royer. Yeah. Jeremy, these are my parents. That's introducing somebody, right? Okay, what about here? <laughs> oh. Who is that? Mm -hmm. Who's that? This over there. That's this, this, that. Who's that over there? I know the face, but I can't remember the name. Rita? Mm -hmm. This. This is Paul, he's an old friend, yes. You'll be introducing someone. This is Paul, he's an old friend from school. Okay, now here, choose the correct pronoun to complete. Who are? Mm 
Mm -hmm. Who are those? Those. Yes. Who are those people in the garden? Who are those people in the garden? They are my cousins from school. What about number two? This. Mm -hmm. Look, this is my business plan. Give me a call next week. Okay. Any question? No question. Okay, now I'm going to give you a couple of minutes for you to complete these sentences. And remember, you are going to use this, that, this, and those to complete them. I'm going to send you to the rooms. I'm going to make one thing, right? And I'm going to share this in the chat. And number one, these. Do you mm -hmm. like do these shoes? They should. Do you like this? This, right? Yeah. Do you like these shoes? When you say yes, I love them. Okay. Vaya, I'm going to send you to the rooms. I already sent the sentences to the chat. So let's go. I'm going to make three groups. Let's see if I'm lucky that all of you enter to the rooms. Okay, there you go. Now we are more, so we're four for four, right? There you go. Join, join. Remember, choose this, this, that, this. And those try to join. Sabrina, try to join. Nice. Y si no le damos así, así no más. Ah, sí, yo creo que es más fácil así. Ajá, más fácil solo viene. Do you like shoes and do you like these shoes I am wearing? Día. Eh, yo, uh, ahí me quedó la duda a mí. Ajá. Porque... Eh, Creo que la compañera dijo que era dos. Para mí le... era, era, para mí, para mí, pienso. I think uh, this. Uh, this. This. Uh -huh. Yo, ajá, yo igual pienso que son, es que le dice que si le gustan esos zapatos. Es, este, ajá. Esos zapatos, eh, pues yo me estoy como diciendo algo así. Pero... Si fuera that, sería, está un poco más lejos, pero como está cerca de this, o sea, eso está refiriendo a algo que está cerca porque se está vistiendo, ¿no? Sí, de que la pregunta es, este, ¿te gustan estos zapatos que estoy usando? Where, ah. where es usar. Y wearing where? es usando. Ah, ¿no? usando, o sea. Uh -huh. Ah, pues sí, entonces es this, this porque están, están cerca. De... Uh -huh. Sería this, ¿verdad? Ok. This. Number two, no, is, number two uh, is, uh, is, I think uh, the chair is, is, le gusta esa camisa, ese, ese atuendo es realmente bueno, se te ve muy bien, se te ve esa bien. camisa se te ve muy bien, entonces, 
Aquí sí, porque no. le está diciendo. Yo le puse yo, edad. Yo, esta. Ajá, yo, te, yo te digo a ti, ¿verdad, Eduardo? Esa camisa. Que, try, está try, muy bien. try not to translate. If you understand in English, try not to translate to Spanish. Okay, okay teacher. Uh, I, I think uh, Moses is the. Uso en el último. Hi, teacher. Comenzar, vamos. Okay. In the number one, do you like these shoes? I am wearing. This. This. Okay. Sí, bueno, te felicito. In the number two. I like that shirt. It's that. Blue. That's. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say that shirt. Number three. Number three is I love this. No, this, this. Let's finish our dreams and go somewhere, uh, somewhere else. Uh huh. And the number six. I, I like think is this. this I city. like this city. Living here since they were. What are you doing? Those. What are you doing? doing? What uh -huh. are you doing? Sí. Uh, what is the say the who's teacher? Who's at the quien? Who's the quien is este carro that that car? Who's uh -huh. that car? Over there, see over there. That car. That car over there. He, It's in my nice place. Hello, teacher. Hi, me piqué el ojo. Sí. <laughs> <laughs> Mire, verdad que hoy tenemos que terminar también la... la el la, examen de medio curso. Ese está después del ex, de la... Después Lord, de la unidad 2. De la unidad okay. sí. Yo creo que ya lo hice. Ya voy a revisar. Sí, Carlita, ya lo, ya lo tenía adelantado, me acuerdo. Ajá, ah, pues sí. Así que ya voy por la tres, por mitad de la tres. Excelente. Okay. Lo voy a desvelar un poquito más hoy. Vienes <risa> sí. a las eleven. Yes. O'clock. Eleven no, o'clock. Ok. <ríe> o se levanta a hacerlo a las seis de la mañana. No. Nada, es cierto. <ríe> Pero mire rápido, dice no. <ríe> Jan, I know it's more difficult to get up early in the morning, especially on Saturday. Right? Saturday. Especially. Do you work on Saturday, Miguel? It's uh, eight, eight o'clock in the morning. Oh, okay. No. Uh -huh. Because yeah. I don't have time at six o'clock. I have to take you the have shower. You ready to leave. Take exactly. the breakfast. Same. No. <laughs> I have classes at eight o'clock too, but at home. Wow. <laughs> at home. So um, um I get up at... Seven thirty mm -hmm. and eight hundred. 
But if it were outside, that would be more difficult, right? Yeah. Okay. A ver, finish. ¿Cómo vamos? The, yes, finish. Yes, finish. finish. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Perfect. Let's go then. Okay, when everybody comes, we will check. Mm -hmm. Almost, almost come. Do you like, hoy oh, sí, verdad, ya vinieron todos. Do you like? This. Like this shoes. Sí, porque los anda vistiendo, right? Do you like these shoes? I'm wearing. Mm -hmm. Do you like these shoes I'm wearing? I bought them in a sale. Okay. I like. That I like that shirt. It looks really good on you. Uh huh. Number three. I like the uh, I love that earrings you wearing wearing where they are present. Uh huh. Earrings is I have those those because it's plural, verdad? I love those earrings we were wearing. Were they a present? Mm -hmm. I love those earrings we were wearing. Were they a present? I shouldn't have eaten all these chocolates. Mm, como ya no están, ya los comí, ya vamos a comer todos. Dos. Okay, le vamos a poner dos que ya no están. Oh, okay. Usamos dos también cuando, cuando estamos hablando del pasado. Usted dice, I remember those days. Right? I remember those days when we finished classes in October. <laughs> ¿Se acuerdan? Mm -hmm. oh. I remember do, all those days when we finished classes on October. So we use those because of the past. I think this, this cafe is too noisy. Let's finish our drink and go somewhere else. Okay, number six. I like this city. Yes, I like this city. I have been living here since I was a little child. Number seven. Those. What are you doing? Those. This. This, this. This. What are you doing these days? Huh? What are you doing these days? Are you working these days? 
Yes. Are you having vacation these days? No. I want to go to the party. Oh. <laughs> El Pedro. <laughs> okay, who is this? That. That, because it says over there, right? Who is that car over there? It's in my space. Hmm. Okay, now. We continue using the most structured pronouns. Complete the sentences. Remember, use this, that, this, and those. This, that, this, and those. How can you buy something like? And check what it says in parentheses, right? Mm -hmm. How could you buy something like this? Uh -huh. See, because it says that you you have it. You're talking about something that you have in your hand. Something like this. Uh, number two. Three, uh, use. Those reports are really heavy. This, this. Ah, but that, they are in your lap. The lap is la, la, el regazo. La computadora. Están en su regazo. Oh, yo pensé que ah. el acto era como el acto. No, en su regazo. Los ah, pues sí es. This. This. These reports are really heavy. Pues como no van a pesar si los tienen las piernas. Okay. okay. I have to wear. I have to wear. Okay. This. This. Uh -huh. I have to wear this part of During a long walk. Va caminando y va con los zapatos puestos. Can you bring me? Can you bring me? This. This. Está en el Can you bring me? Da. Because I left it there in the in the desk of another person. Yes. Leave it in another person. Number five. Yes. Da. Plural, children, and are. Those. Those. Okay, those are Mr. Pineda's children. Okay. In. About a picture hanging on the wall. This. That. And then in that picture, Speech. you see my wife. Porque está ya está en la pared. Acá no la tengo en el álbum. Si estuviera en un álbum que yo tengo en la mesa, así cerquita de mí, sería de eso. Está ya on the wall. Okay, any question here? No question. No. No. Bato. Now, let's review these part of questions using can and could. Remember the uses, right? We said we use can for formation. We use can for ability. 
we use can to talk about it. if something is okay to do or not. We use could for possibility, for ability in the past, and for asking for a question in a, in a formal way. Ah, can we also use can when we want to ask for information? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Review time. Mm -hmm. Are you ready for number one? Okay, what can what can mm -hmm. no yet? Ready, ready? No yet. Teacher, the number one, for example, I write, what can you do with these concrete blocks? What can you do? With these concrete 
blocks. Mm -hmm. And the answer, I came building a little house. Mm -hmm. I can build a house. Okay, very good. Who has number two? When could you when could you who has this? Mm -hmm. When could you go to the beach? Mm -hmm. When could you go to the beach? I could go to the beach on vacation. On vacation. Okay, where can you? Where can you go for dinner tonight? Okay, where can you go for dinner tonight? Mm -hmm. Where can you go to the dinner tonight? And we, well, where can you go for dinner tonight? I can hey. go. Uh -huh. I, can, I can go. I can go to. I can go to McDonald's. Okay. Así va, ¿verdad? Más o menos. Yes. Okay. okay, how could you... How could you? How could you complete this question? <laughs> uh -huh. How could you speak English? How could you speak English? How could you speak English? Mm -hmm. How could you speak English? Um, I... 
attending the class. Okay, and for I do speak. So how could you learn English? How could you learn? Huh? Speak English. I could learn attending classes. Who can you okay? Who can you? Who can you? Who can you keep? Who okay, can you call when you have a problem? Who okay, can you drive the truck? And that we how? How? Okay. Or who can drive? In ese caso, le tenemos que quitar el. el... Uh, yes. Who can you go with? Who can you go with? Where? Who Where? can you go with to Super Mall? Ah. Who can you go to the mall with? Nice. I can go to the mall with teacher. Huh? Teacher, ahí no le ponemos to the, solo le ponemos el the place. I mean, just with the place. No, 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 no. <laughs> See, <laughs> who can you go to the mall with? I can go to the mall. I can go to the mall. ¿Con quién? With. Who with? With my sister. I can go to the mall with my sister. Why could you? Why could you? Why imagine if I if I asked you, why could you run? Why could you run so fast when you were a child? Why could you run so fast when you were a child? Okay, why could you run so fast when you were a child? Cuando tenemos preguntas con why, respondemos con because. 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 I have a lot of energy. How oh, many wow. energy? <laughs> yes, because I have a lot of energy. Mm -hmm. Because I had a lot of energy. Very good. Questions? Any questions? 
No, teacher. Now, okay. check what I have. For. What can you do about the problem? When could you help me study English? Where can you travel on your next vacation? How could you help me with this exercise? Who can you invite to the party? Why could you open the door? Okay. Well, there is something else to do. Here, choose the best option to complete the sentences. We have a, um, now we're going to be using wood, right? Wood, that's the next exercise, wood. Mm -hmm. Number one, teacher, come. come. Would you like come to my house for dinner? Would you like come or to come? Mm, come, let, let her be. Mm. I think. Are you come. sure? You come. Ajá, acuérdese que aquí no es would, sino que would you like. Mm -hmm. Y cuando usamos would you like, usamos to. Would you like to come to my house? Or it will be this. Would you like to come to my house? Number two. In which sentence could you can you write would would like? A, B, or C? Letter C? Oh, sorry. I would like, like pizza? Uh, no. Letter B. I would like to work with animals in the future. Yes. Yes. Yes, that's letter B. Okay. Now, we have three more sentences. Which sentence is not correct? Which is not correct? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Which is not correct. In number three. In the number three is letter B. Yes. Incorrect. Not correct. Mm -hmm. Because it's uh, it's not. It's not correct. Are you sure? And because would uh, don't contract. Ah, no problem. It, it's uh, bad you can contract. make a contraction. If it is affirmative, uh, you can say I'd. I'd is the contraction of I would. I, I would like, I would love. I, you can say I would like. I would love. So that's great. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and the three. I think I would like to be I would like to I would like to I would like to I I would love I would love some chocolate I would like some tea 
I would like some pole pole. No problem. Pero si quiere usar un verbo, tiene que usar to. I wouldn't like to own. And the letter C teacher only uh, also don't have to. Ah, pero es I wouldn't like any more. Ah, okay, okay. Yes. O sea que aún es is a verb teacher. Aún. To own. Uh -huh. Take to own. Attack. Teacher, you are on mute. Mm -hmm. Vaya. So you say, I wouldn't like any more tea. Pero own en este caso es, mm, I would like to own. Me gustaría poseer un perro. Ah, okay. It's a bird. It's oh. a bird. It's okay. el verbo de position. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Lo puede usar como verbo y lo puede usar también como noun. Usted puede decir, I have my own dog. Ajá, sí pensamos que decía no es el propio Ajá. perro. I have, I have my own dog. Mm -hmm. I would like to own. I would like to own a dog, es verbo. Pero si usted dice, I would like to have my own dog. Eh, si usted dice, I would like to have my own dog, en ese caso, own ya no es verbo. Ya es su perro propio. Right? Ok, teacher. Okay, which question is correct? Do you like a drink? Your brother would like a new car. Would your friends like to come to dinner too? Which is correct? One is correct only. The letter C. Letter C, teacher. Would your that's friends correct. like to come to dinner too? Uh huh. Exactly. That's correct. Mm -hmm. And number five, which is the best answer to this question? Would you like a biscuit? A biscuit is como una cookie. Would you like a, a biscuit? Biscuit. Letter C. Eh, yes, I. Fíjense que en oraciones afirmativas cortas no se puede usar contraction. Contraction. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, yes, please. Yes, please. Uh -huh. Would you like a biscuit? Yes, please. Okay, no. Pero, teacher, en ese solo el la contracción. Perdone, eh, por eso estaba confundida en la número tres, en la letra B, porque mm -hmm. ahí está contractada. I, I love. Sí, no hay problema si usted me fuera a dar una respuesta larga. Ah, ok. okay. Would you like a biscuit? Yes, I would like a biscuit with coffee. Ah. Yeah, ahí no hay problema, ¿verdad? Yes, I like a biscuit with coffee. Pero no puede usar una contraction. En... Eh, una respuesta corta. Con ningún, con ningún, este, por ejemplo, con el verbo to be, si yo le digo, are you a student, no me puede decir yes, I'm. Puede decir yes, I am. Puede decir no, I'm not. No hay problema si lo contracta en negativo, ¿verdad? En el caso del verbo to be. Sí, Pero okay. no puede contractarlo en afirmativo. That's no cosa. Ok, gracias por la aclaración. Okay, let's go to number six. My husband. Likes bananas. Likes bananas, yeah. My husband likes bananas. He eats one every day. Explorer bananas. Exactly. Ah, no, pero likes por la tercera persona. Yes. Mm -hmm. ¿Verdad? My husband. 
likes bananas. He likes bananas. Okay, teacher. Number seven, complete this question. Do a do you like listening? See, do you like listening to classical music? Yes. Yes, I do. It's very good the music. Very good. <laughs> ya casi vamos la conversation. When 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 do you like when you would like or when no. like? when do you like to visit 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 us? When do you like to visit us? Or when would you like to visit us? Letter C. Well, letter C. Cuando te gustaría visitarnos, right? In which sentence can you write like? Check it. Solo like, no would like. Solo like. Letter B. Mm. I like to study engineering when I finish school. And for me, it's A. I really like B. scary films. I really like scary films. Porque en el caso del B, Tendría que decir, I like to. Ah, ok. Y en la, number, en la letter C, the same, I like a hamburger McDonald's. Como cuando está ordenando en el restaurante. I like a hamburger and a Coke. Yes. Number 10. Mm -hmm. This part of the city looks dangerous. Mm -hmm. B. I wouldn't like. Letter B. Oh. Um, I wouldn't like. Necesitamos el tú. Okay. Mm -hmm. A entonces. I, li uh -huh. I wouldn't mm -hmm. like to come. Okay. Questions. Question, question. No question. No teacher. I have a last conversation for you. So you're going to, to finish, to finish. Well, yeah. We're going to practice this conversation. I'm going to share it in. I'm going to cut it. And I'm going to share it in the chat for you to practice. Okay? See, it's time for you to go and practice the conversation. I'm going to send you in groups. A, I'm going to remake the groups. I'm going to make only three groups. Eh? So if you are more than two in the group, you can practice with different people. Ready, ready? Check the conversation in the chat and practice. Let's go. Try to join. Six minute practice and then I bring you back. Check the invitation, nice.
Hello, Ricardo. Ready? Ready. Ready. Y como soy la única chica del grupo, yo comienzo. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> okay. And Jesse, do you have any plans for tomorrow evening? Mr. Uh, Mike? Not really. Why? Would you like to eat out with me? Sure. What kind of food are we talking about? That's up to you. What would you like to eat? I like to eat Chinese food. Great. Where would you like to eat it? How about China Walk? Sounds good to me. Sound good to me. What time would you like us to meet? I don't know. It's your invitation. Okay. In that case, I will pick up. I will pick you at six p.m. All right. I'll be ready then. Okay. Very good. Excellent. <laughs> okay. okay. Other, Mr. Mike, and you, Edgardo. Okay. Okay. Jesse, do you have any plans for tomorrow evening? No. Really? Why? Would you like to eat out with me? Sure. What kind of food are we talking about? That's up to you. What would you like to eat? I like to eat China food. I, I, I like to eat China food. China great, food. great. Where would you like to eat it? How about China Walk? Sounds good to me. What time would you like us to meet? I don't know. It's your invitation. Okay. In that case, I'll pick up you up at 6 p.m. All right. I'll be ready then. ¿Se escucha bien, teacher? ¿O se nos escuchan algunas cosas? Ya, yeah, that's okay. Es mejor. Ya yes. okay. yeah. caminan un poco, ¿eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Excelente. Very good. One more try. I'm okay. going to check the other group. Ok. <laughs> but, gusta Oye, ¿qué va a ser Jimmy? Vaya, Jimmy, va. va. <laughs> vaya. ¿Qué va a ser Jesse? Ok, va a ser, va a ser Jesse yo. Okay. Okay. Well, Jesse, do you have any plans for tomorrow evening? No, really. Why? Would you like to eat out with me? Sure. What kind of food are we talking about? That's up to you. What would you like to eat? I like to eat. Chinas food. Great. Where would you like to eat here? How about China work? Sound good to me. What time would you like us to meet? I don't know. Um, it is your invitation. Okay. In that case, I'll pick you up at 6 p.m. All right, I'll be ready then. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Vaya, o yo soy Jesse. <laughs> okay. Tal vez, Jimmy. Jimmy, siempre, okay. Jesse. Jesse, do you have any plans for tomorrow evening? No, really, why? Would you like to eat out with me? Sure. What kind of food are we talking about? That's up to you. What would you like to eat? I like to eat China, China food. Great. Where would you like to eat it? How about China wall? Sound good to me. 
what time would you like us to meet? I do not know is your invitation. Okay, in the case, I'll pick you up at 6 p.m. All right, I'll be ready then. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> excellent, excellent. Excellent, let's go. <laughs> Vamos. Okay. Si gustan, hacemos otra ronda otra vez, Moisés. Eh, como Jimmy y Jesse y, y, y Carla Jesse <ríe> y después otra vez y nos, nos damos vuelta otra vez vale. hey Jesse do you have any plans for tomorrow evening not really why would you like to eat out with me sure what kind of food are we talking about are we talking 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 fuera sí talking talking okay okay that's up to you. What would you like to eat? I like to eat China's food. Chinese. Great. Chinese. Chinese. Great. Where would you like to eat it? How about China what? So good to me. What time would you like to use to meet? I don't know. It's your invitation. Okay, in the case, I'll pick you up at 6 p.m. All right, I'll be ready then. Excellent. Yes, yes. <laughs> Thank Hoy you. Now watch. Okay. Ahora watch. Okay. Give me your order. Give me your Yes, okay. you have Hello, chicos. Hello, Muno. Ah, vaya. Ah, vaya. Ah, vaya. Ah, vaya. Ah, vaya. Ah, Tamara, Tamara. Ah, Tamara. Tamara, Jesse. <laughs> Okay. Bye, Tamara. Jesse, do you have any plans for tomorrow evening? Evening? Not, I really. Why? Would you like to eat always with me? Sure. What kind of food are we talking about? That's up to you. What would you like to eat? I'd like to eat Chinese food. Great. Where would you like to eat it? How about China work? China work? So, China work. So good to me. What time would you like us to meet? I don't know. It's your invitation? Okay. In that case, I picked you up at 6 p.m. All right. I'll be ready then. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. Let's go now. <laughs> ya no. I'm coming. Nice. Who's mixing? Let's see. Hmm. Almost everybody back. Right? Nice. A ver, do I have a volunteer to read the conversation? One volunteer. Well, two volunteers. Hi, right, teacher. Okay, go ahead, Carla. In. In Carla in Walter. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. I I am Jesse or I am I am Jimmy. Okay. <laughs> I'm Jimmy. Okay. Oh yeah. Uh, Jesse, do you have any plans for tomorrow evening? No, really. Why? Would you like to eat out with me? Sure. What kind of food? are we talking about that's right that's right to you what would you like to eat i like to eat china's chinese food chinese food really where, where would you like to eat it how about china what so good to me what time would you like to me i don't know 
It is your invitation. Okay, in the in the case, I'll pick you out up at 6 p.m. All right, I'll be ready then. Excellent. <laughs> okay, very, very good. Sabrina, you here? Sabrina? No veo a Sabrina, me quedo en el limbo. No, pero no ha quedado nada. ¿Y dónde está Sabrina? I don't, I don't see him. Preparando reunión, le dice todavía Zoom para ir a los grupos chiquitos y ya volvimos. <risa> Es que cuando, bueno, a mí me ha pasado cuando estoy desde el teléfono, que no es suficiente, tal vez mis datos, para enviarme al, a la reunión. Entonces me tengo que salir y volver a entrar para entrar en la reunión pequeña. Y de ahí me tengo pero, que salir otra vez y volver a entrar. Ajá, pero como que la hubiera dejado en el limbo, ¿verdad? Sí, a mí me dejó una vez así que yo pensé que nunca. Y pasaron como 20 minutos y me salí. Y de ahí volví a entrar y ya estaban todos en el grupo acá. Sí, bien raro. Hi, Sabrina. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Teacher me sacó, literalmente. <laughs> Qué raro eso. Sí, yo me quedé y Sabrina, porque me escribe, me aparece que no me puedo ir a, lo, a los grupos. Le, le di clic a la sesión de grupos pequeños. Y esperé, no. y esperé, y esperé. Ajá, de ahí se me quedó así. Ah, pues sí, entonces la señal le falló. Porque sí. cuando falla la señal es que se queda así como estoy... No, eh, quizás conmigo estaba, Ajá. porque no estaba solo también, teacher. Sí, yo me di cuenta, por eso lo moví a otro grupo. Ya, hasta <ríe> llorar me iba a poner. Oh, es que Sabrina, de hecho, no, iba right. para allá. Iba para el uno. Ajá. Oh. No, y no logró llegar. Se quedó en el, así, en el, en el camino. Me dejó el bus. <ríe> la de, la de, la de, la de, ya no lo logró. Ay, qué terrible. Pero qué bueno que ya estamos terribles. Vaya, tell me present. Let me see. Uh, bella. Bella, bella, bella Lisbeth, Carlos Roberto, Darling, Darling, Dennis, Edgar Eduardo, Gabriela Stephanie y Edgar. Oh, present teacher, present, excuse me. <laughs> Como todo arriba, no está, no está, no está. Es que me está hablando, ah, no está y me, 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 me confundió ahí. Okay. Eh, Gabriela Stephanie, Germán, Jessica. Present teacher, good night. Good night, dear. Carla María. Present teacher. Kelly. Mi Kelly, ¿verdad? Marcelo. Present teacher. Okay. Mauricio, Miguel Efraín, present teacher, José Elías, present teacher, good night, good night, Norma, present teacher, good night, good night, Pedro, Ronald Josué, 
Sabrina. Present. No, Ronald present. está poniendo present, teacher. Oh, ok, ok, ya lo vamos a ver allí. Tamara. Present, teacher. Waldemar. Walter. Present, teacher. Good night. Good night. Well, oh, ¿quién se queda conmigo hoy? Well, have a nice night. Oh, yeah, and a nice weekend. It's mm -hmm. Friday. Enjoy your weekend. Bye. 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 Bye, Bye teacher. You. Bye, Bye. Bye. See you Monday. Bye. Bye. Bye, baby. <laughs> Bye, baby. <laughs> Hoy me tocó cuidarla, Ay, mi sobrinita. Ah, ah, pues que vaya aprendiendo inglés también. Bye, bye.